problem I have with the Minister's response and with her speech this morning, and indeed with the Taoiseach's response to Deputy Kenny and Deputy Gilmore in, earlier on this morning in the, in the House, is that there seems to be no evidence of the government actually taking responsibility as opposed to apologising and looking into what happened. And there seems to be no evidence that the government is making the links that are needed now to be made between a whole series of events that have happened that have eroded confidence in the service. And if you listen to the airwaves over the last few days, if we listen to, and all the members in the House here have, will have been have, getting phone calls and emails and so on, there is a genuine crisis of confidence in the diagnosis, particularly the diagnosis of breast disease in Ireland at the moment. Women are wondering if their own facility is going to be the next place on the list. And, and people genuinely have lost confidence. And in my opinion, the only people who can restore that confidence are the government and the Minister for Health. They are the people who are charged with responsibility for the policy and the resourcing of the health services. And I haven't heard anything, particularly from the Taoiseach this morning, any evidence that that's being taken on. Instead, he got into um, a defensive argument, um, you know, uh, uh, with, particularly with my own party leader. Uh, instead of genuinely trying to see our way out of this and trying to see a way in which we can restore confidence. The issues in Port Leash are not isolated. And while the Minister has gone through in detail um, what happened there as far, insofar as she knows it. You cannot simply isolate it from the other incidents that have happened, from what Susie Long said to us, from what Rebecca O'Malley said to us, from the other incidents in relation to Barrington's, in relation to testing in UCHG and so on. They're all connected and they have all, in, in, together, have eroded confidence. And you can't simply deal with one situation in isolation, the situation in Port Leash. And the biggest question people are asking is, if we're to wait for centres of excellence, and incidentally, there's a suggestion again that we in the opposition are somehow or other trying to oppose the centres of excellence. We have fully supported the concept of centres of excellence, Minister, and we will continue to do so. But we're being told that they won't come for quite some considerable time yet. We haven't been told where the resources are. To, to bring them about. We haven't been told what's the time scale on how, when they're going to be brought about. And in the meantime, we're seeing a rundown of services. And most definitely, from what I've heard so far about Port Leash, there has been a rundown of services in Port Leash. And, you know, it's, it's a fact that somebody brought attention to the age of the, the, the equipment. It's a fact, and the Minister has said it today, that on the 5th of July 2005, um, the issue was first raised by somebody in Port Leash. And yes, the Minister's department responded, but clearly the response was not adequate, or what happened subsequently wouldn't have happened. So I'm just, my main point that I want to get across to the Minister today is that we cannot be satisfied on behalf of the Irish people with the answers we're getting so far. We have to know how the centres of excellence are going to be resourced and when they're going to be resourced. We have to know how we're going to get from here to there, trauma and suffering to the women concerned and their families. And furthermore, as I said, there is now no public confidence in the system and that is a national crisis that has to be addressed. I can only imagine how it must feel to have symptoms of breast cancer, to go through the testing process and the anxious wait for results then to experience the relief of being given the all clear, only to find out months later that the whole thing was an awful mistake and that you have to go through the whole experience all over again. And if you were one of the misfortunate ones, to be now facing a diagnosis of cancer, having lost those vital weeks when early treatment could have improved your likely outcome and recovery. And we've I'm particularly disturbed at the blame being transferred over somehow or other onto the public and even onto patients who are campaigning.